Hello everyone, welcome again and let's continue the computer tutorial and today we are going to cover uh, drop down and check boxes so for this we are going to perform a particular example to going to automate this page so we have already seen like how can we enter the value in this input field and click on the button and now uh, let's continue this script and automate this complete form so we are going to enter some text here click on that button then you click check, check this checkbox then radio button then select some from drop down and enter some text here and okay, enter and to submit it. So let's flip to the studio and uh, going to the uh, cover, continue the whole tutorial. So in this, you have seen we have uh, enter a value in this input field. This type of value in this input field, then click on the populate button. So for now. I'm going to remove this button okay and let's check how can we check this box so for, let's inspect this first and we just need to going to perform a click operation over there so uh, this is the selector for this and write a command of the code await page dot click and I'm going to click on the checkbox so I'm going to pass the ID and it will perform a click operation also we can add uh, here some click count click count and so I'm going to enter the one so it will click only once if I enter two it will end click on two times so with the click function we can pass the count also and then await page dot click on radio button so let's see how do we use a radio button so for example i'm going to select this window button so just get the selector for this enter the selector here and also here also I can pass the click count so let's enter click count as a one for the radio button now we need to use a select option here so I need a selector for this select and we are going to choose any option so we can choose command line or any other option so <coughs> we have a function for this as a await Page dot select and we need to pass a selector in first parameter and it will take a value in the second parameter. So, for example, I'm going to pass both. So, I need to pass the value here. So, we we'll select this value and next thing we need to check this box again. So, I have try text cafe so this is kind of term and condition so just select when it's type it's id and when to click on this id so await page dot click and going to pass selector and we need to pass the click count so the by default it will run as I think as a one and then <coughs> we need to enter some input in this field it's comment box so I'm going to enter the comment ID so wait page dot type <coughs> here I need to pass the selectors so we will select as a comment and some text so this is automation demo on Wikipedia. This test I'm going to pass from here. At the last, I'm going to click on this button. So just select a selector for this button. So submit ID and should be await page dot click and I'm going to pass 
selector. So, I think it's done. Now, so we are uh, navigating to this URL. Then we are going to enter. Uh, if you, we will wait for the input field. Then we will enter some developer name and then click on the checkbox. And then select. Then click on the radio button. Then select uh, the any option from drop down and then we will click on the agreement checkbox and then type some comment there and click on the submit button. Let's run it and check the output. Let's so go to open the browser, reload, navigate to the, the URL. I will enter the functions on the so you can see it's all selected and also executed. So thank you uh, for testing. This is the message after submitting the button. And if you want to see the output, we can use some weight. So let's wait and uh, use some weight. So after selecting or before click on this button, we are going to use a weight. A weight page dot weight for another selector and post weight we need here. So I'm going to enter 10 seconds. And now let's run and check all the options perform well. Let's go to open the browser, new new page, navigate to the URL, we to enter as you can see. So let's select there also the both. You can see the option it's selected as a both. And drop down there also selected. So it's showing in the tablet view. So we'll save the viewport as a fixed desktop view so it will work or then we'll open in the complete browser. And in the coming video we'll see how can we uh, or use that viewport things and uh, there's some more, some more interesting example on the puppet here. So stay tuned and let's wait for the next tutorial. Thank you.